You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors. Uh, another Black Series figure review for you today. It is the fourth figure from Star Wars The Acolyte. We have Yord Fandar, Jedi Knight. Yeah, this is a character I sort of didn't really like him at the start and then grew to grew to enjoy him. Um, I, yeah, and <laughs> unfortunately made an untimely demise. Um, you know, it was a little bit, it was disappointing because, uh, yeah, it was cool to see him as a swordsman. He was a good, good swordsman. He had some good stuff to do in the episode. And having a yellow lightsaber, you know, it was that was pretty cool. I liked that part of the Acolyte, sort of, you know, adding a little bit more flavor to the Jedi. I wonder whether there's actually a reason why yellow sort of become less of a thing by the time the prequels. But I guess, you know, maybe that was where the Jedi Temple Guards came in and, um, you know, the yellow bladed Jedi was sort of given that role as uh, Temple Temple Guards. But yeah, again, number four picture of Yord on the back, a little bit of a bio on the show, picture of Yord on the side there, pretty good likeness, figure looks decent too, but so without further ado, let's bust it open and have a look. All right, all aboard the Yord Horde, here is Yord Fandar, cool looking figure, good likeness, um, yeah, like I said, once the, once the, when the series kicked off, this guy sort of bugged me a little bit, and then I, uh, you know, once I found out he wasn't entirely a butthead <laughs> I sort of grew to like him a lot um you know just a little bit of that sort of cocky cocky Jedi-ness that you know I don't know maybe he would have got along with I don't know I don't know who, who would have, maybe Ahsoka you know he's a little bit snippy a little bit a uh, little bit cocky but you know obviously it came down to his detriment he uh he didn't make it through that long but he does have his lightsaber again, yellow blade, really cool. Loved seeing the yellow come to life. Yeah, his hilt isn't really anything to write home about. It's kind of cool. Again, I sort of spoke about um, it was either in the Soul review or the Indara. I sort of said, yeah, very sort of utilitarian, less flashy than they were in the High Republic. You can see the peg there and the little grooves. So it does slot in there, in there nicely. Should have a peg hole. The rest of them do. So it's indeed that sort of holds in there. All right, looks kind of good. Now, being a sort of taller figure, this robe seems to fit him better than some of the others. It could just be the way it's sitting fresh out the box, but um. Yeah, looks looks okay. I think I'm, I like the look of the robes. It's you know nice cut. I don't object to the uh, the hood being sort of stitched down onto the back, and able to have it sort of drop down if you really want to. You can cut that so you can put the hood up. I think I've said that in all these reviews so far. So forgive me for repeating myself. But I like to treat my videos as if it's the first one someone's watching. So your facial likeness is very on point. I think they've nailed that. I think it looks good. The sculpt. The hair. I see sculpted, you know, the sort of the top. Sort of, I don't know what you call that. Sort of over the top there, it's painted well, sculpted nicely. I need to uh, check there, looks to be, you know, around, I don't know, around the neck there, that, that sort of that brown paint, whether that's part of his robe. I need to look at some reference photos to sort of see that looks a little bit off, doesn't it? Just sort of brown on one side and then up that side there's nothing. You know, whether that's true to his robe. 
There's a little, maybe it's meant to be, maybe it's just a little bit of sloppy paint. Hard to say, a sort of a little bit of brown creeps up the side there. You know, maybe, maybe it's a two sort of layered thing there. I don't know. I'm going to look, look into that afterwards. Let's take this robe off. We can get a look at him in his robes. Belt looks nice. And yeah, sort of spoken about how you know the yellow. It's very cool. You know, sort of half expecting this to be sort of similar to to Souls, which I have here. But you yeah, know, they're different. Maybe the torsos are the same. No, they're not. They're um, they are different. So that's cool. Dare say the arms are probably the same, given that they've got um, the same sort of armaments, the, 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 the gauntlets there, the sort of the bronzy gold gauntlets. I think I love that look. Gives the Jedi a little bit more of an ornate feel. You know, they're still out there doing missions that require require a little bit of protection. And I do think he will be sporting the same legs as soul just trying to compare side by side here yeah it looks as though the sculpt pretty much the same boots are different so there's slight reuse between these figures which is fine you know <laughs> you've got to try and save a few few dollar dues here every now and then But it's worth it. He looks good. So let's take a look at his articulation. He does have a ball joint, a ball and socket in the head. Yes, folks, he does have a head that can twist around all the way. He does have a joint in the neck. Yeah, that neck will absolutely twist for all you twisted individuals out there. <laughs> Uh, ball hinges in the shoulders, and the butterfly joint in there too. Ball hinge in the elbows, hinges in the wrist, sort of up and down hinge there, and up and down on that hand as well. Obviously, the swivel in there as well. Got the uh, ball and socket in the torso, under the legs. He's got the ball and socket in the thighs and the hips. Swivel in the thighs. Ball hinge in the knee, ball hinge in the ankles, and the rockers in the feet. So you can get that wide stance happening. And yeah, I think he looks good. I think he turned out pretty good. You know, a lot of people sort of saying that, um, you know, sort of early reviews and, you know, people just looking at the figure saying it looks like he's got a really long neck. Um, I don't know, it looks sort of proportionate to me. You know, he's a tall guy. I wonder whether there wasn't some subliminal thing there where you pay so much attention to his neck and then it gets snapped in half. And it's just like, yeah, that's a bit brutal. <laughs> no, I mean, that was a pretty, pretty brutal death, honestly. Like, But, you know, you go back to when you hope and, you know, Vader gets Antilles and picks him up by the neck and snaps it and then throws him against the wall. So that kind of death has always been part of the Star Wars universe. And uh, yeah, to just to finish off, we're going to do the peg test, the uh, Kessel Run stand. Yeah, perfect, perfect Demundo. That ain't going anywhere. Be hard pressed to hard pressed to push him over. I think I'm not going to because you know I'll prove myself wrong. Uh, <laughs> but no, he looks good. I'm digging him. Part of the Yord Horde. So do a little, do a little size up with Jackie there. Let's bring in Soul, who was also quite a, a tall gentleman. 
And last but not least, Indara. We've got sort of posed up. Yeah, this stage is just waiting on May. I have reviewed Osha already. She's up on the shelf, so I can't do a comparison with her. But yeah, there's all four Jedi from the... Hopefully, there's more to come from the Acolyte. I'd like to see more. But yeah, appreciate you, appreciate you tuning in and checking it out. I Thank you very much. Um, yeah, like give, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe. And uh, all that cool stuff. And uh, we'll see you again very soon. Till then, may the force be with you always.